Sag, welcome to your career reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela and Sag, this reading may be for you if you have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Uh, Sagittarius. I want you guys to um, listen to this reading with an open mind. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for this point in time for their career. Yeah, Sag, I feel like your emotions could definitely be getting the best of you. You might be feeling rather hurt about certain things in your life. You could definitely be hurt with regard to a love relationship that you feel didn't work out. There might be somebody, some of you may be having issues within the family environment, right? Maybe there's some issues that are going on in the family um, that are giving you the blues. Spirit wants to encourage you that you're absolutely stronger than you know. And I feel like, yeah, your fam family dynamic is changing and there's going to be some major decisions that you're making and making the first step with certain things. And I strongly feel, Sag, that you're going to be stepping in your power. You may be clearing the air with certain things or certain people in your life. There could be someone at a distance from you, which could for sure be this love relationship. This could definitely be a work colleague. And maybe there were some hostilities on the job. Maybe you do work in a hostile work environment where every man is out for himself. And maybe because you're feeling very emotional, you might be ready to begin a new cycle and leave something behind. And that brings us to the overall energy of your reading, which is renewal. So I feel like you're going to take a moment to distance yourself from people. Distance yourself from the energy of people around you to really evaluate where you are in life and where you would like to go. This is going to be a renewal of your mind. I feel like some of you, Sagittarius, is you want a renewal of a love relationship that didn't work out between you and this person. Your dreams of being a family with this person may have been dashed. The crossing energy for you is slow down and relax. You might be feeling a bit hasty or kind of rushing into things and feeling, wishing that you had more control over your life or your circumstances. And that could definitely be getting you down. Like you could definitely be distancing yourself. You could be becoming very antisocial from people because it's like you don't have the confidence in what it is that you want to manifest. You could definitely be kind of ignoring your intuition kind of shying away from other people, maybe for fear of rejection. Maybe there is someone for you, Sagittarius, as you felt like this person was trying to hide you. And because this is coming up so strongly in your reading, like a hidden relationship is what I'm trying to say, it's coming up so strongly in this relationship having to do with love and love relationships that I feel like this is distracting you at work. There's something that your intuition is nudging you to do, Sagittarius, but it's like you're not taking action on it for fear of maybe failure. But I feel that what it is that you may be pursuing or something that you may have on your mind could be something that you're absolutely excellent at. I feel that you may be questioning the motives of people around you. If people are around you for the right reasons, are they real, are they genuine, are they fake? I feel that there is something that you want to build. This could be you rebuilding your sense of self and, re and finding your confidence. But I feel that this is some of you building a dream that you may have. Social status. Yeah, possibly. You might be wanting to build up a social status. Some of you could definitely be on social media. But I feel like there's Gemini. As much as I want to make this about career, I promise you love continues to come up. I feel like there's a Gemini that you may be distant from. And you may be rehashing the old hurtful movie that happened between you and this person. And you may be doubting that a reconciliation can really happen between you and someone that you absolutely love. But needless to say, Sagittarius, I feel that you're very, feeling very confused and very alone, maybe even a bit depressed. Because it looks like you are isolating yourself and spending a lot of time alone. Because you feel like you're unsure of yourself. You feel like you're in the dark about things. And yeah, there could be conflict going on around you. No doubt there could have been conflict with a love relationship. Maybe you work with the person that you love, but it looks to me, Sagittarius, that 
you may not be feeling like yourself. There's somebody that's on your mind. I see backbiting, gossip going on around you, unfounded rumors. And I feel that there could be some communication that comes in. Some of you Saggies, there could be some um, unexpected, maybe some bad news that might be coming in. Because it looks like, yeah, you are nursing a, a, a broken heart. When it comes to your business or um, maybe something that you're trying to get off the ground, maybe a work opportunity, it feels like you are wanting things to work efficiently, but I feel like some of you Sagittarius is because you're so in your head and you're so worried about this fear of the unknown that you may be kind of not hearing the nudge from your spirit guides. You might be feeling that there's someone in your environment that's manipulative. Like I said, you may be questioning the motives of certain people and deciding to cut certain people off. You might be feeling, like I said, very in your emotions, possibly about this Gemini individual. This could be somebody that you work with, no doubt. But I feel like there's love here. Yeah, you might have a, a crush on somebody that you work with. And maybe this is you, Sag, in reverse. Maybe there was a love relationship where you were acting single and they feel that way about you. That you were acting single but really weren't. And maybe you want to kind of rewind the clock and turn back the clock and see if you can go back and rekindle something and fix something there. Now, some of you, you may be dealing with finances that are that are not really flowing right now. There might be cash flow issues in your life right now, Sagittarius. And I feel that there's someone that's coming in to kind of provide some type of support. I even feel that there's somebody that could be paying child support. There could even be some I don't know, like a small financial reward that you might be getting right now where you might be feeling that you're living pillar to post. I'm seeing that somebody comes in and, and offers a helpful hand. But it looks like you're definitely on guard in your work environment. And, um, and it looks like you're not really enthusiastic about the work that you're doing. Now, some of you, Saggies, your, your home life, it looks like, because maybe some of you aren't working, you might be between jobs. Um, and that could be where your cash flow, cash, cash flow issues are stemming from. That could be what's causing a, um, a frustration within a, a relationship. But with the people that you work with, I feel like there, there could be some type of hostility, right? There could have been some type of misunderstanding or some type of argument that may have happened that has you estranged from somebody that you did work with, somebody that you made money with, somebody that works in your work environment. Yeah, it looks like you're trying to find the confidence within yourself to approach somebody. Some of you, there could be a same sex relationship or you might be, you might have fire in your chart. Yeah, this would be you, Sag. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancerian. This could be a Pisces or a Scorpio, but I feel Cancer very strong here. Yeah. Some of you, that is the case. Some of you, this is a work colleague that you just may have a difference of opinion with. You may feel that this person is trying to get over you. That could be a work colleague that you're trying to, um, that you're questioning their motive. And maybe you are sitting back and observing the situation to figure out whether or not this person is real or fake. Are they genuine? Is this person a backstabber? See, that's what I mean. You're questioning the motives of people around you. You definitely have a wall up when it comes to protecting what's yours and protecting what you feel that you built. Some of you, you might be waiting for money from an establishment. Like I said, some of you, you might be waiting for a banking decision. You might be waiting for a decision about whether or not that you can move into an apartment. Some of you could be in the real estate business and you could definitely be gaining some more traction with your business. Some of you, did I say a leasing office? Maybe You may be getting some communication from a leasing office that you got the place. For some of you, this is you kind of um, setting up shop, building a business. And I feel like if this is a dream or an aspiration of yours, yeah, to build a business or to go into business for yourself, I feel like the opportunity presents itself. And like I said, some of you Saggies might be between jobs. I feel like you're going to get the job that you've been looking for. Some of you are feeling overlooked or you feel like you were overlooked for some type of accolade or some type of raise or promotion on your job. 
<laughs> yeah, that's because you feel like somebody cheated you or, or cut you out of an opportunity. Uh, yeah, you do want to iron some things out with somebody that you work with. And it looks like you're trying to make a decision. That's what I mean. This is a Cancerian individual. For some of you, I see a Cancer that you may be making amends with. Somebody, like I said, in your work environment that you made money with. And you guys may be building a business together, but I feel like you you guys are at odds. Right now, you may not feel like you can see clearly what the next answer is or how to strategize to get from point A to point B to make some to make some type of dream come true. Okay. But I do feel that you're gonna be securing a new contract. And this contract begins a new cycle for you. And I feel like there's something joyous that comes in. Some of you, Spirit is encouraging you to look at the big picture of a situation because maybe it's time to do so. You may be looking toward expansion. You may be looking toward something better that you feel that you want from life. There could be a situation in your work environment that causes you to, to question that. You're saying, I want something better for my life than just work a regular nine to five, a traditional job to work in a cubicle, right? And you may be looking for something more, something, something more tangible. You're looking for some type of tangible result or some type of sign. Yeah, motivation. I feel like you're going to find the motivation for something for something new. This could be someone coming in to provide you some type of motivation. I do feel that you could be working on your body. Some of you, you may feel that you've gained some weight. And this could be you kind of focusing more on your health or on self-care right now, focusing on your goals. So for those of you who are between jobs, right? I see a check in the mail. I see some type of unexpected income that may come in to tide you over. I feel that there could definitely be a message about money that could, um, and this could be um, a response from a job interview, right? I feel that something in your life, sad, you might be reevaluating, you might be thinking things over again, or thinking things through thoroughly about where you wanna live possibly or about whether or not to keep a business going that you feel might be going belly up. You're putting something off. Even though the signs are there, Sagittarius, it's like you're kind of overlooking the signs. You're putting off, putting something off. It could be you putting off making amends with somebody. Um, somebody lied. I feel you're going to be evaluating whether or not this person is telling the truth. Yeah, I do feel that you're ready for this new cycle, these new opportunities that are coming in, though you may be having some self-doubt about that, right? Because right now your outlook might be a little bit off. Your morale might be a little bit down. And there may be some lessons that you might still be learning about an old chapter. Yes, remember what I said, you would be reevaluating, reconsidering something that you've been putting off. So it looks like you're gonna get the clarity on what? On how to do something, on how to see something through. Where you may have looked at something and felt that something was a complete waste of time it looks like opportunity knocks and you cash in with something that you're putting a lot of skill and work into i see steady progress coming in for you with something that you're putting your heart and your mind and your soul into though you might be questioning some of you are working for a nonprofit agency You guys do want to go into business for yourself. And some of you are business owners. Like I said, you're not seeing the fruits on your labor right now. You're wondering if the efforts that you're making to keep this business going are in vain. But I'm seeing slow and steady progress. Hang in there. Stay the course because I'm saying that it does pay off for you in the end. Not in your timing, but according to divine type. Sag, within the next few weeks, you may be evaluating whether or not it's worth a compromise. Maybe it's time to maybe compromise with a partner maybe you just didn't see eye to eye with somebody that you work with and maybe you guys did have a misunderstanding maybe there was a blow up 
I feel like somebody could be coming to see you to try to reconcile a situation where you, like I said, question somebody's motives, whether or not somebody was a backstab or whether or not they were a real friend. You may be able to hear one another out. And with that conversation, you may be able to meet in the middle about something. And yeah, with those of you who have a business and you're not seeing a real payoff of the, the expectation or the turnout that you wanted, Spirit is saying that you're exactly where you need to be. So remain positive because I feel that abundance is coming in for you. Those of you who may want to leave and sever the ties, cut off a work environment and maybe go, secure some type of new um, project for you and you're worried about the payoff, you feel like your efforts are in vain, I'm saying an opportunity comes in and the opportunity does win for you. And it tells me that you are ready to do something. It's time to begin a new cycle for some of you. This could be a new cycle of a friendship, of a, of a, a work relationship that just didn't go right. And it could be compromising the trajectory of your business. There's going to be some things that you guys do need to talk about. Listen to your intuition. Yes, because your intuition, you might be ignoring your intuition. You might be ignoring these hunches that you have about something. And I feel that there's something that you're obsessing about. You could be obsessing about money, but I feel like you're definitely obsessing about a love relationship that's in the background. Yes, and as soon as I say so, here's the two of cups. Somebody that you want to be with. And it looks like you do have some regrets and worries over a situation. But once you move and you make the calculated, take the calculated risks that you need to make, I feel like money is no problem. Money is no issue for you, especially, it, yeah, some of you. So this would be a business partnership, okay? But that could definitely be a love relationship. So for some of you, this could be a family business. Yeah, the solution, the uh, solution to your problems is right in front of you. And I feel like you're going to be brainstorming and evaluating a way to work some financial issues out. But no doubt, I feel that you want to communicate with somebody and, and, and reconcile and make amends for a past situation and clear the air with someone that you may have walked away from. Or you feel that this person really didn't make the efforts. They didn't really initiate any newness in this relationship. You may be questioning the future of the situation. But I feel like you might take a moment to let down your guard and um, make amends with somebody. Some of you are strategizing on how to maybe start a business or secure a new contract where something didn't go as, as expected. Well, you are looking to expand a business and maybe bring somebody in um, to give you some type of consultation or some type of help. Securing a loan to get a business off the ground. Maybe allowing some people to come in and help you. <sighs> Spirit is saying that it's going to be necessary for you to... Um, Disconnect from the outer world so that you can truly hear the thoughts and feelings that are coming through from your inner world. Spirit is saying that it's going to be necessary for you to create this um, quiet time for yourself so that you have the clarity about what to do next. I feel that these ideas that you have are definitely given to you by, by your creator. And I feel that these unlimited ideas that you have are definitely destined to succeed. And I feel like these limited, unlimited ideas that you have are guaranteed to bring in blessings for you. Spirit is saying that it's time to take a divinely guided chance to allow these ideas to come, come to fruition. And when they do, you saw the Ace of Pentacles there, like opportunity definitely steps in for you. Spirit is saying it's time to get out of this frame of mind of complaining that complaints are an affirmation of victimhood you're not a victim you're victorious sagittarius spirit is saying take back your god-given power by affirming that you have the abundance of choices and freedom spirit is saying that you're going to find this increased assertiveness within yourself this confidence and once you do watch these affirmations blossom into reality 
Some of you have guilt about maybe, I don't know, shining your light over other people or, um, but I feel like you definitely have a light to inspire other people. Yeah, you might be feeling guilt about something that may have worked it out, done, something that was done in your work environment that you may not be proud of. So I feel that this could be the very person that you're making amends with, but I feel like it starts with yourself, right? If you feel like you have guilt for something, Sagittarius, I feel like this is going to be you forgiving yourself for what you think you've done and realizing that there's unconditional love around you. I feel like you're definitely going to be growing from some mistakes instead of trying to berate yourself. I also feel that there's going to be support that's all around you that's going to allow you to focus on your divine purpose. Because I feel like you might feel at times that you're just existing in this world and that you're not really on purpose. And I feel like you're gonna find that purpose. And I feel like you're gonna see exactly how amazing you are with something Sagittarius. Though right now your morale may be down, you might not be trusting yourself. You might be feeling like you, you've gotta be on guard around certain people because there have been people that have, that have taken advantage of you and taken your kindness for weakness. You definitely have trust issues, Sag. But you don't have to be a lone wolf. Sometimes it may be necessary, as I stated, to take some time away to evaluate some things from other people. But you no, know, I feel like you're going to be getting back into the swing of things, Sagittarius. Though things seem confusing and seem daunting, I feel like you're going to find your way. And some of you are single parents and you're worried about money and your finances. Are you going to make it? Are you going to stay afloat? Are you going to be able to handle the pressures that are on you? And I feel that you are. Even though you may feel that you don't have the control over your life that you want, Spirit is saying that that's, that's what the overall energy is there for. There's a need for a renewal of your mind. And I feel that that's going to come in once you shift your focus from things that really don't matter, things that you can't change from the past. Yeah, maybe even including somebody's absence, somebody that you're thinking of. You want unity with somebody, but it looks like somebody reacted, uh, had an emotional reaction to something that they had found out. Yeah, you have a, a very strong attraction, a very strong magnetic, magnetic attraction to somebody, but I feel like you're gonna shift your, your focus to this brilliant idea. For some of you, that is where you guys are having friction in your work environment. And I feel like you're going to find a way to work that out or see things from a different perspective. So, Holy Spirit, what is the advice for Sag when it comes to their work situation? It says, everything is happening as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Though you may not understand right now, you may not see the blessing. You may not see why things are happening the way that they are right now. Sagittarius Spirit is saying is everything that is happening in your life is the way it is supposed to be. Right? Remember, the overall energy is renewal. This is this was met, these lessons that you're going through right now, that maybe you were having a, a kind of going against the grain and not really getting the lesson before. I feel like it's going to be time for a renewal of your mind and to shed old ways of thinking that are not really beneficial to you at this time. You'd be looking back on your life right now, Sagittarius, and evaluating if this is like you feel like you should have been further along in life than you are right now. You might be rating yourself being very, you might be berating yourself and being very hard on yourself, very self-critical at this time. But Spirit is saying it's time to spread your wings, Sagittarius. It says don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So while you have been maybe holding back on something or delaying something, Spirit is saying, no, Sagittarius, it is time to spread your wings. Take inventory of your life and resolve to heal or change anything that is unbalanced. 
I feel like this is unbalanced relationships, but I feel like this has something to do with your health as well. Resolving or changing or healing anything that is unbalanced. Like it's time to focus on self-care, but I feel like you're going back and you're reviewing and reevaluating maybe where you went wrong in certain situations, or this could be other people doing this towards you. And I feel like you're going to kind of find a way to reconcile things or come to a compromise with certain things. Yeah, you might be worried, but Spirit is saying you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Yeah, because I do feel that there's enemies around you. But either way, trust and follow your renewed passion. Renew. Renewal is the overall energy. So I feel like you're going to get a renewal towards your passion. It says trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career. So I do feel like you're going to get some type of um, motivation to kind of start fresh and kind of go to the drawing board and brainstorm a few things and reformulate some things, re-strategize on some things. And I feel like once you've had a break and once you've had a time to clear your mind, you're going to get the clarity that you need to move forward on something. And when you do, I feel like you got the ace of pentacles so i feel like there's an opportunity that comes in that allows you to shine but you've got to get out of your own way sagittarius this is what i have for you saggies i hope that this reading helped if you found that it did hit the like button below consider leaving a comment and consider subscribing if you already haven't if you would like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can head over to my website. The link is below and the website is angelicascensionstarot.com. Thank you so very much for watching Sagittarius. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye for now.